All right, continuing on with this 5.4 exhaust manifolds. Um, I've got the driver's side all done. Just gotta put the inner fender back in. New studs, new manifolds, new gaskets. Um, you can kinda see all the old bolts. I welded nuts on some of them. I drilled some of them and used an easy out. What I had to do there is just put some heat on them. Um, so drill them, put some heat on them, then put the easy out in. And then if they break loose, go ahead and run them out. If they don't, stop, heat them up again, and just repeat the process. Some of these other ones I was able to weld a nut on um, where my access wasn't as good. And that works as well. You can see the old manifolds there. It's, it's definitely a process you got to kind of go through here. So, see I got all the back ones out here. I've got all the front ones out. But that bottom one, if you look, I've got this drill plate in there right now. Um, I think it's a wild tool. Yeah. So it's 68500. Um, it's a drill plate for drilling them out. I use it on some of them, especially if it's a hard angle. Um, it really helps. It just allows you a guide to drill your hole in the center. It still will get off center a little bit, so you've got to double check it. But a lot of these other ones I honestly drilled by hand um, just with a right angle drill bit, a right angle drill, and a really good drill bit. That's another thing that goes a long way. Um, I got this Drill America set. It works really well for these, just using the eighth inch drill bit. And here's some more of the ones I got out on this side over here. You can see I just drilled it, and like this one I drilled by hand. Um, heated it up, used the easy out, just using the oxacetylene torch, and uh, yeah, works pretty good. You just got to take your time with these. Um, so this is, I believe, an 08 F250, and hopefully I can repeat the process, but I was able to remove this manifold without pulling the engine mount or the AC compressor or any of that stuff. Um, it was difficult, but I was able to do it. I just pulled the AC lines. Um, I recovered it and pulled the AC lines, but that bottom bolt where you see I have my guide bolt right now, that one is a nightmare to get to. So putting it back together is definitely gonna be tricky putting that stud back in there. So we'll have to see how that goes and I'll update you guys, but I'm getting them. This side had five broken studs and then obviously I'm replacing them all. It just takes time. There's no rush in this. You just gotta take your time. Um, what's working the best for me is to just go ahead and drill them in the center, use an eighth inch drill bit, use an easy out, and then go right to the torch and, and heat them up real well. Put your easy out in, try to turn it. If it doesn't turn right away, just stop, let it cool off, heat it up again, and then like they just break free instantly once you get them heated up just right um, like i said you can weld on them as well but it's a little bit more risky because then you get welds stuck to the tip of this and you try to drill through that it's kind of a nightmare so i like trying to drill them first and going from there some of them i did weld on um, just because they're a little bit more difficult but yeah hopefully this helps you guys these things are completely doable. You just gotta take your time and hopefully some of these tips will help you as well. You don't have to have the guide plate, like I said, but it definitely helps. Um, I'd recommend, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd recommend having it, but uh, just really, a really good eighth inch drill bit, right angle drill, and uh, oxacetylene torch is definitely needed. And just take your time. Sometimes you need to weld on them. One thing that does help when you're welding nuts to them, the thinnest nut works the best. So say we had a nut that was half as thick as this, um, this way right here, that would work even better because that helps penetrate when you weld, the nut heats up really quickly and bonds really well. So that's another little tip there. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going on this thing and I just wanted to update you guys and let you know how it was going. Uh, thanks and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions.